So you want to install Linux, or maybe you have installed Linux and you already know that there's going to come a day when you're going to want to do it again. For a lot of us, that process often follows a similar pattern. Download the OS files, load it onto a USB, and then boot from the USB. This can be pretty tedious, especially if you're in a pinch. Every time you want to try out a different variant of Linux, you're gonna have to go through the same process again and again, and that adds up. Additionally, if you're a new user, you may not be satisfied with the distribution you chose, and maybe you want to explore further options. If you're a Linux veteran, you might find yourself setting up multiple machines or developing a taste for tinkering. But what if I told you there's a new tool in town which makes the process a little bit less of a hassle, no matter how many years you have under your belt. It's called Ventoy, and it's a type of live USB creator, which is essentially a tool which helps you get images onto disks. So what even is a live USB creator? And that's a great question. A creator, or a burner as it's sometimes called, is a program which actually gets the OS onto your USB drive so that you can use it to install Linux. Usually when you want to install any OS, let's say Ubuntu, you'd go to Ubuntu's website and then you'd download a file called a disk image. This disk image won't automatically be loaded onto your USB stick and it's not like you can just drag and drop it. Usually creators work via a process of burning or flashing, which involves taking the disk image and actually mapping it onto the USB so that it can run as intended. However, this process ends up wiping everything on the disk, meaning that if you want to burn a new image, the old images have to go. Ventoy is different in that, although it is a creator, it's technically not burning the images. You just need to burn the first time, and then afterwards, it literally is just as easy as drag and drop. In this video, I'm gonna show you where to get Ventoy and how you can use it to get any number of Linux-based operating systems onto your computer. We're gonna be going through the whole process from downloading the disk image to loading up the installer for your favorite operating system. In this video, we're gonna be using Ubuntu and Pop! OS as they're generally the classic beginner-friendly options, but it will of course work with any operating system that you'd like to try out of the box. Make sure you like that smash button and smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. We're nearly at 100,000 subscribers, and once we hit 100,000, I'm gonna be giving away a Steam Deck. We have a ton of awesome stuff in the works, so stay tuned. With all of that out of the way, let's begin. First, you're going to need your disk image. Where exactly this disk image can be found will depend on which distro you're going with, but for Ubuntu and Pop! OS, they can be found on the downloads page of each operating system's website. You'll notice that each website will prompt you to download a .iso file. Keep an eye on where these end up being downloaded to, as we'll need them very soon. Typically, these files are rather large, so while those of us without blazing fast internet wait for it to download, we can move on to finally downloading Ventoy itself. The best place to download Ventoy is actually through the project's GitHub release page. There will be a link in the description. There's a website for the project, but it's typically less up to date, so I wouldn't recommend using it. When you're on the GitHub page, scroll down and under the Assets tab, you're going to see a bunch of links to files. If you're doing this from a computer running either Linux or Windows, click on the file corresponding to your OS to download it. You're gonna end up with a compressed folder which we're going to extract. How to do this varies depending on your OS, but usually it's a matter of going to your Downloads folder and selecting Extract in the Files Context menu. If you're a Mac user, sorry, but the installation process is going to be a bit messier. You'll need to download Ventoy's ISO from the same site and then perform a workaround using VirtualBox. If you're willing to jump through the hoops, there's a handy video by Alien Drew going step-by-step step through the whole process. Once again, I'll be providing the links in the description. But returning back to our Windows and Linux users, once you extract the archive, you're going to find in the folder a collection of various executable files. Which one of these you wanna run will depend on your OS. So we have Ventoy running, and now it's time to plug in our USB stick. In the main window, it should show up in the dropdown on top. If not, press the refresh button and it should appear. The initial installation will wipe your disk, so make sure that you've selected the correct USB drive from the dropdown and then back up any files that may be left on there. There is a newer feature which will allow you to install Ventoy without erasing anything on the USB drive, but as of writing this video, it only seems to be available in the Windows version. Now all you have to do is click the big install button on the bottom left. Read the warning prompts and click yes if you're comfortable, then wait for it to do its thing.
When it's done formatting the drive, you will be notified with a pop-up. Now, here comes the fun part, loading the ISOs. Open up your file manager and you should see a USB drive named Ventoy showing up as a device. Navigate to the USB drive and then in another file manager, navigate to where your disk image is downloaded. Now take those disk images and copy them and then paste them into the drive. We can drag over the Ubuntu ISO and then Pop! OS ISO. We just then have to wait for them to transfer. And as you can see, they're just on the drive. Like if you put any other file on. And it really is that simple. You should be ready to restart your computer and boot from the USB. After a brief loading process, you'll be greeted with a blue menu with the word Ventoy at the top in large letters. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select whichever OS you plan to load. We'll start by loading up Ubuntu here. As you can see, that's the Ubuntu installer. It works just like normal. Now, if you restart the computer again, we can load into Pop! OS. It's all the same, no matter which distribution you go with. Just follow the installation process as you would any other setup, and the rest is pretty straightforward. I mean, there you go, right? You've installed Linux, this time using Ventoy. If you ever need to do it again, you can just drag your new ISO onto the flash drive and boot from there. With this knowledge, you should be more than ready to use Ventoy to its full potential. And in case you're wondering, yes, this works with Hollow ISO. Are there any distros you'd like me to try with this? Are there any other cool Linux tools that I should know about? Leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. Now, I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members. It's because of you guys that I've been able to grow this show into what it is today. So thank you. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you wanna help support this show, you can use the links below to become a patron or a YouTube member. It's all greatly appreciated. There's links below. And thanks. That's going to do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.